these are these are my options that I got here. What do you think, Swap? Purple heart. That looks really cool. These get bolted all the way through these uprights, through the cabin wall, and through the carlin. It's gonna really tie in the whole cabin wall here. You're coming too. What started as a dream is now our reality. Oh Six years ago, we poured her ballast, raised every frame, cut every plank, and named her Red Aviva. Ready for life back on the ocean, this year we're determined yeah. to set sail. Would you look at that. I'd say that's the making of a fine cruising vessel. <laughs> We're Salt and Tar, and this is our life. We're happy to share, and thanks for joining us. All right, so me and Ruth um, cranked out all that redwood paneling on the uh, forward face of the cabin yesterday, and now I'm just trying to figure out what kind of trim that I'm gonna do on the bottom, and if I'm gonna do the same on both sides, or mix and match to keep with the kind of more artsy eclectic kind of interior that we're going for um i want to use something kind of funky and something fun and i've been saving um i've been kind of collecting and hoarding wood over the past however many years and i've been collecting some exotics and some pretty cool stuff so i think i'm going to use something like that but i got choices got ruth down here editing the next video and yes it is a disaster zone in here um, <laughs> because you know when you when you try to have a place that is set up as a home that's also a work in progress it's those two things don't mix very well so we do our best <laughs> but yeah these are these are my options that I got here I do have some other types of wood but these are the three kind of species that I've narrowed it down to. We've got Paduke here, we've got zebra wood, and we've got purple heart, all of which are fun and different. When this is sanded up, it's like a bright orange red. This pretty much looks like that. And this will get a little bit more vibrant purple after fresh sanding. So I'm gonna clamp these up and stare, and hopefully I can come up with a decision so I can get some wood cut and fit today. Option three, purple heart. Ooh, I kind of like that. All right, we have a winner. Purple heart it looks pretty rad. What do you think, Swap? Purple heart? Is that the winner? Do nothing if it's purple heart. All right, purple heart it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you okay if I make noise for a couple yeah. minutes? Not uh, necessarily ideal work conditions for Roots to be editing videos, but do what you gotta do. You wanna go up, Swab? Come on, let's go. You got it. Go boy. Garrett and Swab run over to the bunker for some pattern material. Back to the bunker, got some door skin. I'm gonna make up a couple of patterns, so hopefully I can get this uh, purple heart cut out. And Ruth is finishing up for the day, isn't she? <laughs> She's, I'm, yeah. before she turns her brain into mush, and she's just about to go take a nice, probably cold shower. Isn't that right, Ruth? Maybe I'll bring a beer. Mm, now you're talking. Oh yeah. Ruth has a tendency to work herself a lot more than she should when it comes to the videos. <laughs> 
We call it Crazy Tuesdays. <laughs> Take bevels for all the corners because on a boat nothing is square. Um, so the way I'm doing that, just take the reading and then I'm gonna get just a piece of plywood, transfer the bevel onto the plywood, and then just label it. intimidated people from staring up at the bow already. Yep. <laughs> and now he's ready to come keep me company. <laughs> While Swap kicks it with me down below, Garrett heads to the bunker to cut, shape, and clean his trim project. did the last uh, kind of test fit of the Purple Heart and everything's looking great. So I just need to take it back off and I'm gonna route this vertical piece just to make everything look nice because uh, it's routed here on the ends. So it'll just look more finished. But other than that, it's looking good. Ruth is just finishing up episode... Uh, 158. 158. To take these back off, hit that piece with the router, and then I can fasten those guys back in. For the aft face trim, we're doing something different. Check out Wange. This piece we found with a buddy when he answered a Craigslist ad for Purple Heart, and the guy had other hardwoods in his garage loft he was trying to get rid of. Heard about our project and gave us a deal. We need a wide piece for this, and the colors of this wood will work perfectly with the charcoal paint and old teak stairs already in the boat.
40 grit. And this stuff is super dense. So Garrett's gone to go get the angle grinder, which is back on the boat, uh, because he went at this for, I don't know, a good little while and kind of got one of the uh, like planer saw marks that are on here. And there's another decent sized section there in the back. <laughs> so he's gonna go get the angle grinder and he's gonna go uh, over the whole thing and I'm gonna follow up with the sander. But I'm gonna go ahead while he's running to get that, get the in-between parts that are you know, not too bad. These are the uh, handrails, or one of the, the starboard side handrail that will go on the inside of the cabin up along those kind of vertical posts that I have on the cabin wall. And since I got all the trim done, now I took some measurements, took some measurements on the boat, some bevels. So I just got all the different bevels written down here. So I'll just transfer them to that, cut this out. Hopefully I can bring it to the boat and it'll fit and then I'll bring it back here, make some marks on the boat and stuff, and then bring it back here, hit it with the router, and then I'll be good to go you know, back to the boat, bolt it in, and then get some oil on it. leftover from our bulwark planking and it's going to be through bolted through the whole carlin here assembly under so through bolted on that side so it's going to really tie in the whole cabin wall here yeah and of sorry. course round it over and so it's also going to be a really nice hand hold along the entire length of the cabin. Yeah, I've got two aspects to complete my, kind of when I rebuilt the cabin, I wanted to make it really solid and really strong, incorporated into the framing. So I put in these really heavy carlins, which you can't see, but they're under there, um, which are basically just big lengthwise structural beams that are tied into the, the two big beams that go across on uh, each of the cabin faces, so they're notched and securely uh, mechanically fastened into that as well. And then, so I put in all these uprights that uh, just butt into these um, these beams. And so the last two aspects of, of doing all that that uh, I wanted to do um, to complete that structure is on all of these beams and these uprights, I want to put knees, whether they're wood or metal or whatever, but just some knees that are kind of nicely 
bolted and secured to kind of tie this to this really stout. And then when I put these in, these get bolted all the way through these uprights, through the cabin wall and through the carlin. Um, so those are bolted in. So this whole thing is just kind of locked down. So I think it should make it pretty strong. <laughs> I have a hammer. Oh God. I have a hammer. No touching cameras for you. <laughs> So we've decided to take about a half inch off the width of the board and then we're going to send it through the planer to kind of clean it up and maybe take off about an eighth inch on the thickness and then we'll probably do the routing on the top, uh, the front face, the top and the bottom side and then we'll see if we like the way it's looking. It looks a little less uh, than what we expected when we put it up there. So hopefully we'll get it cleaned up, kind of get it closer to what the finished product will look like and then see, see where we want to go from there. <laughs> better and then it will get souped she'll blend right in We got our bolts. Unfortunately, they didn't have a six and a half. So uh, we're gonna have to go with sevens, but uh, not too bad. It's all gonna be a little overhang on the inside there, but that's just fine. And then we'll countersink them and wood plug them. So we gotta put in a little groove here on this bolt head. Thank you. 
add a swoop. So we took the rail back off and so that we can shape these, do the router and everything without that being in the way. And this one is still big enough to put in a little handheld, but that's just going to be a round over the aft half bulkhead there because we've got the electrical box on the other side. So just going to be more gradual. Super Swab <laughs> coming to save the day. <laughs> what happened to your finger? This one? Yeah, that one. I cut a huge chunk out of my finger drunkenly trying to open a can of corned beef. <laughs> <laughs> all those dark spots are blood. I have blood all over the floor. The floor has red polka dots. Shh. I'm always chipper. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Ooh! Oh no! Oh gosh! Uh, I think it's on there. <laughs> Ow! Ooh. Ow! <laughs> <laughs>